phone. My dad used to phone me from the Commodore Hotel in Beirut, you know, holding the phone out the window so we could hear the bombs, you know, with, with women in his room probably. And he was having a great time. A lot of them were having, they're having a fantastic time. It doesn't time. make any difference. No, but, but that well, was their release from the does, horror, wasn't it? Then that well, was their release from the horror. Part, it's part of the fun and part of the addiction. But I think then to say that, that, that pictures of men with guns are cool is... But no, okay, no, he's not saying it's that's cool. cool. He's I saying, mean, he's saying that's, that's cool. the whole yeah. point, is, yeah. that, is that that's the, the, what he's capturing is this is idiotic, this, this is, is why people stupid. Do it. And there's five or six photographs mm -hmm. out there that a photographer they don't can take in his life. Those I images are very beautiful. I think those young men do look idiotic. He is... He is unresolved about his own relationship to his own work. So he's clearly collected all this stuff over the years. Uh, he clearly has his own personal archive that he loves, and yet he hates it too. And there's, there's something quite peculiar about that. I think one of the things that's actually that. interesting about one of the, the, the shell-shocked um, yeah. Marine is that you have an image, and then next to it you have the post-its, which tell you how he wanted it yeah. to be exposed. And what's quite interesting about that is you do realise that these are constructed images. So we, talk, we often talk now about photoshopping, etc. Yeah. Yeah. But these, aren't, these were not just grabbed, these were actually manipulated. I suppose well, that's shape, what I meant. About shaped by war is at the Imperial War Museum North in Manchester until the 13th of June. Now, every week we ask someone who is making the cultural headlines to tell us what's filling their own artistic inbox. This week it is the author Alexander McCall Smith who yesterday published the 11th novel in his number one ladies detective agency series. I go to a lot of book festivals and in January I went to the Jaipur Literary Festival in India and that's a wonderful literary festival. There's no admission charge, nobody has to pay, so the public comes in very large numbers. One book which came to my attention recently is Olivia Cole's new book of poetry, Restricted View. The language is crisp and beautiful, uh, which I think is a sign of a, a very, very fine poet indeed. As far as films are concerned, I tend to catch up on films on aeroplanes and I, I recently saw a wonderful film which occupied part of the journey uh, called Julie and Julia, uh, starring Meryl Streep uh, and I'll go a long way to see Meryl Streep in anything. Uh, she's a marvellous actress and this performance is just magnificent. You have no real talent for cooking. I've made all sorts of interesting discoveries on Lake Junction. One in particular was the Penguin Cafe Orchestra. Uh, I use music uh, to write to, and uh, I choose the music according to the sort of book that I'm writing. But the Penguin Cafe Orchestra is a wonderful example of music that it's very easy to write books to. I very much enjoy going to galleries, and the other day I popped into the Wallace Collection in London, which is a wonderful gallery. It's just the right size. You can walk through without feeling totally overwhelmed, and there's such beautiful, beautiful paintings in it. There are other things as well, but I go for the paintings, and I go in particular for their Dutch Golden Age paintings. Absolutely lovely, and you leave the building feeling so much more calm and optimistic, which lasts for a few minutes. <laughs> And Alexander McCall Smith's new work is called The Double Comfort Safari Club. That's almost all from us tonight. Thanks to my guests, Joe Queen and Safraz Manzur, Anna Blundy and Martin Bright. Playing us out tonight is Sarah Blasco. She's about to start a UK tour next month. Tonight she's playing her new single called We Won't Run. Thanks for watching. Pages turning, lights are burning. See what you could not see. It's plain as the day, the night makes you pay for what we're sitting underneath. Longing to leave, but begging to feel that something will make you stay. You gotta believe that this all leads somewhere we've never been. We won't run, we can find all that key. Us up at night, there is far to go now. Let's not waste a minute more in denial. But I always thought you knew yourself better than anyone. But
season was lost when you started listening to everyone else. Costing this devil off, got the metal, the means to make things right. I'm tired of guilt, I'm tired of being sorry. Well, haven't we suffered enough? We won't run, we can fight. All that keeps us up at night There is far to go now Let's not waste a minute more But oh, that our eyes will be open Oh